Well, Tom and Shelley, Senator Brown and Donald Trump held a joint press conference before this rally tonight, but most of the questions were about Iowa. The national media kind of needling Mr. Trump, trying to get some kind of a response or get him to express something about his second place finish there and Donald Trump holding back, kind of brushing it off, not really going there. But from what he said at the rally, it's clear that the way his finish in Iowa is being portrayed is getting under his skin. Coming off a second place finish in Iowa, Donald Trump is looking to reclaim his momentum in New Hampshire. Tuesday night in Milford, he picked up the endorsement of former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown. One person who has the independence and can be the change agent to actually get Washington working again, it was very clear to me that that was Donald Trump. Everybody wanted his endorsement, and I'm very honored that he's giving it to me. Asked for his reaction to not winning in Iowa, Trump tried to put things in perspective. I think that we did very well. I didn't expect to do so well. I guess what did happen is one poll came out that set him four or five points ahead, and that maybe built up a false expectation for some people. Well, he kept his cool with the media, Trump let a little New York slip into his vocabulary in his stump speech, swearing twice, once talking about Russia. Let them use some of their weapons that cost billions and billions of dollars. Let them beat the out of ISIS. And again, discussing Ted Cruz. You watch the Democrats. They've already said they're going to sue him. He gets the nomination. They're going to sue his. But the crowd ate it up, their unconventional candidate sounding nothing like a typical politician. They're not worried at all about what happened in Iowa. I wouldn't say he didn't win. As a first time, like, in the whole politics business, especially going for the highest seat in office, I think second place is pretty good in Iowa. Now you've got all of these candidates pounding away at the first in the nation campaign trail, but tomorrow the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump, will be in Little Rock, Arkansas to hold a rally there. I asked him during the press conference whether he thought he was spending enough time here in New Hampshire down the home stretch. He says he has no problem. That Arkansas event was pre-scheduled. He's confident in the way things are going. Reporting live in Milford, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.